dear students in this screencast video lecture we are going to see in detail about the next important group of mycorrhiza that is ectomycorrhiza the word ecto itself says that it has been mainly associated there with the surface of the roots basically these ectomycorrhiza are saprophytic in nutrition this groups of organisms can be easily cultured there in the petri plate whereas endomycorrhiza which we have seen in the previous video lecture are nutritionally so stringent they require a living organism as a host for their growth and survival ectomycorrhiza are phylogenetically recently evolved forms that is they have evolved only a 15 million years ago this mycorrhiza is genetically highly diverse that is high genetic diversity is been present in the form of more number of genus as well as species when compared to that of the arbuscular mycorrhiza in fact this mycorrhiza will be commonly infecting the forest trees compared to that of the herbaceous plants that are infected by the am mycorrhiza the mycorrhiza that are infecting the forest trees are coming under the following groups of fungi that is some are basidiomycetes and some belongs to ascomycetes and few belongs to zygomycetes important basidiomycetes fungi that forms the ectomycorrhizal association includes boletus hebolema lactarius paxillus physolithus examples for ascomycetes include cenococcum and tuber the next one the example for zygomycetes is an endogon you may recollect endogon is the one which can occur as a ectomycorrhiza in certain condition they are also proliferating as a arbuscular mycorrhiza next we look at the plants in which they can able to commonly colonize the first list of plants are basically belonging to the conifer family of pinaceae it include pinus albis and larix common names are spruces firs as well as larches so these are the group of trees that could be dominating especially there in the temperate regions so they are the major components of the boreal forest which would be commonly occurring there in the temperate regions the next one comes the family of plant that grows commonly in the tropical region it belong to fagaceae betulaceae and myrtaceae the common names have been given there in the brackets which includes beeches oaks birches hazels as well as plants like eucalyptus so these are all the major plants that could be successfully colonized there by the ectomycorrhizal association next we look at the list of woody plants that commonly occur there in the tropical rainforests of the southeast asia most of them belonging to the family of diprocarpaceae which mainly comprises of the timber containing plants these plants are effectively colonized there by the ectomycorrhizal fungal species compared to that of the arbuscular mycorrhiza here they dominantly produce the sexual spores that helps in their multiplication these spores could be produced in the above ground which is commonly referred as a epigenous a classical example is the pore production by mushrooms sometimes they can be found below the ground also a classical example is the puff balls or earth balls that are spore bearing fruiting bodies it is technically referred as hypogeous spore production mechanism here this kind of a puff balls could be easily identified with the help of dogs now we look at the special structures that could be produced by this ectomycorrhizal fungi the important one is rhizomorphs they are the one that forms on the root surface that is the hyphae form a compact sheathing mantle like appearance there on the surface of the root it will be covering up to the apex of the root enclosing the part of the apex in such a way root hairs cannot be formed there in this particular kind of a roots that is the complete root will be covered by mycorrhiza as that has been shown here there in the diagram this structural features of this mantles are specific for fungal genus it often helps in a easy identification at a general level these rhizomorphs are in turn made of puff eiffel filaments which makes about a thickness of 2 mm 
and they constitutes about 20 to 40 percentage of the mycorrhizal root weight. From the inner surface of the mantle, dense, repeatedly branched hyphae can penetrate between the cells of the root. This results in the production of a structure called hortignet. So, in this diagram, you can able to see a fungal mantle that is the rhizomorph formation there in the surface of the roots. When they enter inside the cortical cells, they can able to form a special structure called hortignet which is unique for the ectomycorrhiza. And they serve as a nutrient exchange sites between the partners that is between fungi as well as the plant system. Here, we look at the different structures of an ectomycorrhizal fungi. It will be producing mycelial strand, a point which is already known for you. This mycelial strands may sometime form into thinner absorptive hyphae that helps in mobilizing the insoluble pastoral sources that could be present there in the soil system. Apart from that, this mycelia will be spreaded there in the soil system and they can form into some special structures such as a rhizomorph which is forming a mantle like structure there on the surface of the roots. And the important structure other than this that could be produced there in ectomycorrhiza is sclerotia. They are all the resting cells that would be formed under unfavorable condition and may germinate when a favorable condition is returned there in that environment.